Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you a uh, basics building block of Web API and uh, in this video tutorial, first of all, I would like to share something about Web API. Web API is a name suggest is an API over the web which can be accessed using HTTP protocol. It is a concept, not a technology. I mean to say that Web API is a name suggest is API. What is the application programming interface over the web? which can be accessed using HTTP protocol. So I mean to say that there is the second uh, uh, deep look into the RESTful API. Suppose you have a uh, client, uh, suppose you have a client like browser, mobile applications and you want to uh, book any ticket, uh, any flight ticket from uh, the given websites like make my trip and ease, uh, ease to trip.com. So just you uh, put some information like uh, from to to that is the def, uh, destination source to destinations so uh, here we have a simple demonstrations of your uh, query like uh, in the make my trip just uh, fill the data from uh, like uh, Delhi to Bangalore and you can see that here we have uh, some flight informations like a go first flight there we have a 6 p.m. Uh, sorry 6 uh, New Delhi and 8 to 35 uh, from Bangalore so how in between the 2 hour and 35 minutes in showing by the make my trip.com the same thing uh, show by the flight dot is my trip.com because in the go go first uh, here we have a 6 p.m. 2 hour 35 minutes and 8 35 p.m. so uh, how to get that that these data from uh, the same data uh, how to get this so that is called an api so here you can see that here we have a server or api code that is the restful api and that restful api is actually used databases to store data and that uh, api is actually stored on your web by using your uh, browser or mobile you can just get this api over the http protocol and get this data in the format of JSON or as well as the HTML format. So, what is the REST API and how to design this REST API to use consumer and as well as your vendors. So, uh, first of all, download Postman to uh, check the data over the internet and check or test the RESTful API. Okay. So first of all, the the uh, uh, first thing you need to uh, add in your computer that is Postman. Okay. So how to download the Postman? Just type in the Google. That is a Google product. So download Postman to test the API. So download Postman. Get started for free. Download Postman. Okay. So after download your Postman, you install it and to test your web api so now just getting started with the web api in asp.net core and you can just start the restful api in visual studio 2022 so just create a new project and here we have a lots of templates are there so in this tutorial just i select asp.net core web api and ASP.NET Core Web API, just select .NET, uh, so just you have to test Web API project for YT, okay. So here we have the framework is .NET Core 6.0 long term support and configure for HTTPS, use controllers, uncheck to use minimal APIs. There is a no need to use minimal API in this tutorial, so just use a uh, controller. So, and also select the 6.0 and click to the next that is create and your project will uh, create it uh, right now. So here we have the list of uh, directories in solution explorer. So here we have a dependencies, you know that uh, here we have first of all, just I want to say something about the connected services and the connected services, there is the service dependencies and overview that is the next in the dotnet core and documentations like that and there we have a publish options also there 
So just after that, uh, just completed the web API project, I will uh, publish that API on your uh, GitHub accounts. Okay. So and Azure account also. So uh, here we have a uh, folder structures of web API like connected services you can see and in the dependencies uh, sections just download or install a new get packages and the project references as well. The next section is the properties here we have a web uh, server properties like IIS settings, Windows authentication, uh, anonymous authentication, IIS express, SSL port informations and also, also we have a custom uh, web server informations and also uh, define the ASP.NET code environment settings like development, staging and productions uh, etc. Okay, so here we have a launch settings. So now uh, this is the controller and the default controller have a that is a weather forecast controller. So here we have informations about the weather forecast. Okay, the next thing is app settings where your connection string and uh, API keys there and uh, secure data also there. Okay. And the next thing is program.cs file where your data is there uh, in the 6.0 there is a builder.webapplication.create builder and uh, if you can see in the .NET 5 uh, then uh, here we have a startup.cs file but in .NET 6 we have only the program.cs file where your builder services and the middleware uh, inside it there okay so in the, the forecast.cs file is there so Thank you guys for watching this video and the next video tutorial contains the controllers and how to build and how to test the web APIs. So wait for the next video tutorial and uh, just don't forget please subscribe my channel also and uh, please press the bell icon also. And I will give you the source code also uh, on the GitHub accounts as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching this video.